raining outside. It is cloudy, cold, and rainy. So, in keeping with my promise to myself, microdactism rule number six, whereas I must create something every day, I have decided to create Jamaican-style rice and peas. Every single thing you see here came from my back garden. The green onion, scallion that is, the thyme, and the pepper. My back garden, as you know, was created by my wife's company, Linda's Oasis. And she did a great job because it's not only food, but flowers too. As you know, seasoning is all a matter of personal taste. I happen to like the taste of Jamaican jerk seasoning, but not too much. So I added just enough to make it subtle, but not overpowering. This is the magic ingredient that all rice and peas must have. Jamaican allspice. So, of course, I added a dash of that too. I add an entire can of drained red beans. Of course, when you do that, it doesn't have the color that you're used to seeing in rice and peas, but it helps me in controlling the amount of the ingredients that I add. I also add a cup of Thai-style unsweetened coconut milk. That is important for the flavor of rice and peas. You may add more or less to your taste, of course. Later, I will add salt and pepper, of course, and one of my secret ingredients happens to be one teaspoon of pure raw cane sugar. It makes a difference to me. Alrighty then, let's get started. And remember, this is Microdax style. So, with the scallion, thyme, and pepper, the bottom of my pot, I will now add the drained red beans, canned beans, which I get from Walmart. No big deal. I just don't like to cook with the original red beans. Along with the red beans, of course, I add a cup of coconut milk, as I said, the Thai unsweetened coconut milk. There are other brands of coconut milk, of course. It's just that I find it easier to use the Thai. Okay, so now here's where I put my dash of this and dash of that. You know, the ingredients that I mentioned earlier, uh, things like flavor of, uh, you know, jerk seasoning, garlic powder, um, pimento, um, I allspice to you, all the things that are going to make it delicious. I must tell you that this is the heart of Jamaican rice and peas, okay? Everything. This is where you mix it all together. Finally, I add two cups of jasmine rice. Why jasmine rice? Because I like jasmine rice. Okay, so once everything is in, I stir it all together. And remember, it's two cups of rice, okay? It is one can of drained red beans and one cup of coconut milk. The rest are just a dash of this, a dash of that. Uh, you saw the amount of scallion, uh, red pepper, and thyme that I used. Okay, so pay attention because this is crucial. I added two cups of rice, but I will bring the water up to the three cup level. You mix all the ingredients together, you add two cups of rice and bring the water up to three cups. Okay, to repeat myself, and I don't mind doing that, after you've mixed all your ingredients together, it's two cups of rice and bring the water level up to three cups, up to the three cup level. So you mix it all well, and then you put it on cook. 
put the lid on and go do your thing. Okay, so um, this is all a per matter of personal taste, really. Before putting the lid on, I'll put a generous amount of butter to my pot. As I have always said in all of my cooking videos, it is always butter, never margarine. Okay, so once it has boiled, and you can see that it is boiled, I lift the lid off and I stir it well, just once. Then replace the lid. About 15 minutes to 30 minutes after it's cooked, you know, when it flips up to warm, I will then remove the lid and I will stir everything and that's when the eating begins. And I don't know why I'm not a lot fatter than I am because after it's all done, I will then add salt and pepper to my taste along with some more butter. I love the taste of butter a nice hot rice and peas. I have a very dear and wonderful friend who lives in Utah and he calls me the invisible chef. That is because all my cooking videos, the food, the food is the star, not me. Anyway, for today's lunch, I added some of my ham hock that have been s cooked in the pressure cooker. So it was rice and peas with ham hock. And I eat ham hock because of my stomach problems. And that is the best way to get collagen into your system. Ham hock is good for you because of the collagen which older people need.